It's a field where young Craig Council ran the bases. The hometown Little League Park dedicated to the Major League veteran in 2012. Now the sign bearing his name defaced. What was your reaction when you saw that the Craig Council Park sign was vandalized? I was disappointed. Um, I don't think that's representative of the community of Whitefish Bay. Well, I guess I'm not totally shocked. I mean, I think it's certainly not cool. The three letter swear word spray painted on the sign after news broke that council would be leaving for the rival Chicago Cubs. Being the hometown guy and then to just up and leave like that and to, and to especially go, you know, to the Cubs. I, I, I get it. I get why people are mad. Obviously, that's unacceptable. A Whitefish Bay Little League board member covered the vandalism with a tarp, but declined to speak with 12 News. I mean, this is one of the biggest things Whitefish Bay has in terms of bringing communities together. The park holds fond memories for Tom Sullivan, who once coached there. Now, Todd Hall does. And the fact that Craig's name's on the field is a testament to, I think, a lot of little boys who are looking for inspiration um, to be a Major League Baseball player someday. And even if they don't end up as a Major League Baseball player, it just proves that dreams do come true. Neighbors are now hoping this sign is replaced and that Craig Council's name will continue to be an inspiration to these little ball players despite his departure. I hope that um, we all can get past the emotion and the surprise and however we might feel about the situation and just remember that Craig's a member of our community. In Whitefish Bay, Madison Moore, WISN 12 News. And 12 News reached out to Whitefish Bay Police to find out if anyone has been arrested and the Whitefish Bay Little League to find out what's next for the sign. We are still waiting to hear back.